It's time for more One Piece, and you know what that means is more Whole Cake Island, and more specifically, Peros Pero is finally fighting the Straw Hats. And by the Straw Hats, I mean Luffy and Jimbei and Pedro, where Brook and Chopper are, they've been candified. And not just that, Big Mom is behind them, and Katakuri is waiting on the damn boat. So, like, not only do they have to get through Peros Pero, they also have to get through Katakuri, and they have to do it before Big Mom shows up. This is about to be out of control. This is about to be madness. Click the like button, subscribe. Hope you all have been enjoying the videos. And remember, if you want to... Uh, the, the words are hard. You know what I'm saying? If you want them early, you want them uncut, you go over to patreon.com slash rough senpai, or you can just become a member right here on YouTube by clicking the join button. I have no idea how we're going to edit that thing together with my scrub. Maybe we'll keep it in, but it's time for more One Piece. Let's do this. This thing is also terrifying. Like the Candy Maiden, I don't understand like why the Candy Maiden decoration is so much different than the normal one, but hey, here we are. It's close enough, bro. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Oh shit. I guess they kind of have somewhat similar abilities, I guess. I mean, he's able to stretch his arm too. Obviously, his mochi and rubber, they're a little different, but. I was going to say, yeah, he's able to pretty much do the same stuff. Like, that was kind of almost like a reminiscent of Gear 3rd, the way he increased the size of it like that. Have a bad big mom, though. Lurking in the shadows. Won that cake. Bro, y'all better get the fuck out the way of the game. Sunny, bro, she about to crack that shit. I was going to say, like, at this point, I mean, all he could really do is he's got to go gear forth, yeet Katakuri off the ship, and then they need to leave. Oh, she way closer than I thought. I like that he's got, like, a, a big-ass trident. Bro, everybody, everybody always seeing Roger and Luffy. Like, I, you know, I've talked about this before. If you didn't know, I have a, a podcast I do with Nino Anime called the One Piece Manga Bros Podcast. We bring, bring on a bunch of guests. We've had a guest on every single episode except for episode one where we did it just ourselves. We've had Roger's base on. We've had Teching 101 on. We've had a bunch of other people on. And we're planning a lot more. But, like, we currently just finished Whiskey Peak. You know, we got through Reverse Mountain. And, oh, my God, dude, the amount that they focused on, uh, it, like, in Logetown, the amount that they focused on Destiny and the amount of references to Roger and the amount of people that were freaking out comparing Luffy, it's crazy to see that 800-something episodes in that is continuing to happen. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. That's a good point. Oh, okay. That's fucked up. Damn, Peros Peros kind of OP that he can do that. I mean, I guess, you know, what do you expect from Big Mom's main pirate crew, but... Holy crap. I wonder why. I guess Peros Peros probably left because of Big Mom, but. Oh my god. Bro, like that level of praise. <laughs> I knew they were going to use Q to burst. 
<laughs> he like, I ain't seen this shit yet. I don't know what you're talking about, but all right, I'll, I'll trust you. Don't you dare. Pedro, I swear to God. Don't you sacrifice yourself. Yeah, this ain't good. Not for long, bro. You ain't hit it. Jimmy has no idea what the Kuda Burst is capable of. That shit is crazy. I don't understand. Like, hockey would allow you to even hurt a Logia. How is he able to do this? Oh, fuck off, you asshole. So much for good to burst. I, I will say though, I really like am struggling to comprehend what's going on. Obviously, there's going to be a massive reveal and, and some explanation, but the fact that Luffy can't hit him, like I didn't even really pick up on it at first until he mentioned it, and then I was like, oh my god, he's fucking right. Pedro running at Big Mom. Oh no, you're running. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You can cut out this hair. Fuck your candy, bitch. Oi, one of the case of King Akos, stay Luca. Nana Okuda. Memory? Memory? Oh, they have a pass. Oh my God. I mean, that means he's basically chilling at like 80 ish. Is he gonna fucking dude? Is he about to sacrifice himself? Yo, Pedro is adorable. <laughs> dude, he is adorable. Fuck, bro, he's getting real. Bro, Odin about to crack my head for this next 30 episodes, isn't he? Odin, Odin Sama. Hold the fucking phone. Did he just call Roger Odin? Oh no, okay. I thought he was saying like Roger, you know, like not not the person Roger. Where the fuck is Odin? They want to keep that shit a mystery, don't they? Bro, I hope we get more Roger backstory, dude. I just, I feel like it's such a mystery. We don't know like anything about him. Kind of crazy to think about because like, if Roger wanted to, he could have lived, you know? <laughs> oh my god they were all there 
there. That was before Dragon. That was before he had the fucking thing. Also, did y'all see Skinny Moria? Goddamn! He talking about the King of the Pirates, bitch! Oh shit! No. She saw it. No. Oh my god. He actually dead, isn't he? Oh, he just There's no way he survived that. Y'all had to wait. There's some of y'all that were watching that that had to wait a week. Oh my god. 